all the world's a stage. And all the men and women, merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. And one gal, in her time, plays many parts, her acts being seven ages. At first, the infant, mewling and puking in her father's arms. And then the whining schoolgirl, with her satchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail, unwillingly to school. Then the lover, sighing like furnace with a woeful ballad made to her fancy man's eyebrow. Then the student, wearing strange clothes and working very hard, zealous at uni, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation, even in the student mag. And then the working mother, gaining a belly, but face as yet unlined, her eyes so clear, work clothes of formal cut, full of wise sores and modern instances, and so she plays her part. The sixth age shifts into life's exciting afternoon, with spectacles on nose, backpack on side, her youthful clothes well saved, a world to stride, good health to thank, and her deep voice, respected more than treble, now writes or tells of all she's found. Last scene of all that ends this strange, eventful her story is second childishness and mere oblivion, sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything. <laughs>